Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by. Let me just give you a quick update before we actually jump into the readings. We are hovering at 26%. We are at 26.7. Thank you so much to everybody who gave during this past week. I do appreciate it more than you guys can imagine. And now on to your readings. Hello there, Cancer. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of September 5th through the 11th. What we have coming up for you for Monday is the King of Cups. I do see that as somebody that you will be interacting with on Monday. This is someone for most of you, it'll be female or male, but for some of you it will be female. The King of Cups is somebody who really has good control of their emotions. And when I say that, I don't mean that they suppress their emotions. They're very cool about um, how they're able to handle their emotions, how they're able to feel them, how they're able to express them, they're able to release them when they need to. They just really are very fluent in handling their emotions, fluent and graceful with them. And so the King of Cups, when you're interacting with him on Monday, I do feel like, yes, I know it could be you guys, but that's not how it's coming in. Um, I hear you guys thinking out there already. <laughs> so this the King of Cups is somebody that you're interacting with on Monday. And this is somebody who is very comfortable with their emotions and who is actually sharing his feelings with you about something that is going on in... I feel like for most of you, this is going to be in the lives that you share together. So if you know this person from work, he's going to be sharing the way he feels about something that's going on at work with you. If you know this person from your personal life, he's going to be sharing the way he feels about something that the two of you um, do together in your personal life. But it's, some, he's, it's feelings about something that the two of you... Um, are in on, I guess is the best way to say it. And if this is somebody that you're in a relationship with, they could even be telling you their feelings about what's been going on in the relationship lately. Um, and whatever it is that they're expressing feelings about, they are expressing them in a very sane, um, reasonable, uh, I'm hearing happiness making way. So I take that as a very good card when I see that. Now, Six of Cups showing up on Tuesday. A couple of things can be happening. You can be looking back at some previous memories that are good. You also could have an ex coming back into your life or someone from the past coming back. It doesn't have to be an ex. This could be an old friend. Um, and that may be why you're reminiscing as you're spending time with this person thinking about the good times. All right, so then let's look at Wednesday. What we have coming up here is the Hierophant. The Hierophant is telling me, for some of you, I'm feeling like there's some kind of heavy-duty commitment coming in on Wednesday. You may be signing some kind of contract. For some of you, I'm hearing that this is a housing contract that you may be signing. So maybe you're buying a home. For others of you, you may be leasing or renting a home, and you're signing a contract on that. Um, for others of you, what else could this be? I just heard this is putting yourself in bondage in some way. Um, and bondage <laughs> sounds really bad, uh, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Like if you're in a contract to buy your home, obviously you're getting the benefit of that home out of that contract. But something, I feel like there's going to be some kind of contracts there for a lot of you, very literally. Um, for some of you, this could be something that is more, that you agree to in a more verbal, non-binding type of way. Uh, but definitely some kind of a long-lasting agreement is what's coming up here for you Cancers on Wednesday. Now, on Thursday, what you have coming up is the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords I really like to see. This could be just some new information coming to you. But typically the way I see the Page of Swords and what I'm feeling like is coming in for most of you guys is Cancers. Page of Swords to me is talking about um, having an innate curiosity about um, secrets of the universe. That's what I call them. Those things that influence the universe, that influence our everyday life, but we're not talk about, talk, taught about in school. So this can be anything from the occult, the arcane, ESP, psychic, uh, mediumship, metaphysical, law of attraction, um, Reiki or other energy healing modalities, 
um, runes, anything, anything in those categories that you're really curious about on Thursday, Cancers. For some of you, you're just going to be looking at one of these things and going, is this for real? <laughs> and kind of checking it out from that standpoint. For others of you, you're going to be digging in deeper than what you have before. And for others, you're going to be expanding. Maybe you're already very familiar with some part of this, and now you're expanding out and um, looking at some other part of the secrets of the universe and just checking that out and growing from there. Let's look at Friday Cancer. Five of Coins shows up for you. Five of Coins Cancer. This just means, gosh, this card has come up two times, and usually it just comes up financially for me, but it's coming up really heavily as associated with time this week. And so when we've got the Five of Coins, this is telling me that um, you're going to have some time commitments that make you feel a little bit more pushed or that take some of your free time away starting on Friday. And so this could be anything from, you know, okay, I'm going to go to the gym for an hour every day or... Um, you know, maybe I need to stay some extra time at work to get caught up with stuff every day. Something, you know, there's something that's encroaching on your time that's coming in on Friday. Now, for the minority of you, this is coming in as the way I usually read this card, which is there's something going on with your budget that is making it tighter than it used to be. So maybe you're taking on some kind of new payment, or maybe you let one of your side jobs go, or, you know, it could be anything like that. Either the money that's coming in is less or um, the expenditures going out are more, but either way, it's making you tighten up your budget a little bit. Let's look at Saturday. Oh my goodness. We're just going to look at Saturday and Sunday together because they're surprising. <laughs> they are surprising. You never know what I'm going to say. All right, so we've got the Empress on Saturday and we've got the Emperor on Sunday. What a powerful couple. What a powerful, powerful couple. Okay, and these are not people that you're interacting with. This is more signifying your energy over the weekend. So we've got the Empress and we've got the Emperor. So we've got the female energy and we've got the male energy. So Saturday we've got more of the feminine energy. The feminine energy is one that gets things done more by drawing things to her, drawing those opportunities into her. Um, not so much go, 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 do, 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 but just drawing things in. So she may be able to really network and have things happen for her, um, things like that. So this is the feminine energy. That's how I see you behaving on Saturday, just drawing those things that make you happy, that are beautiful, that are good into you. On Sunday with the emperor, this is more the male version of that. This is taking control in a more masculine way. So Saturday where you're focusing on your situation in a more feminine way, maybe you're doing a lot of law of attraction type work. Sunday, you're out there hitting the pavement with whatever it is that you want to get accomplished. You're taking control of the situation and you're making sure that you're bringing in whatever your goals are or your targets are and you are actually doing, yes, you're actually doing those things that you're inspired to do to make that happen. And I think that inspiration very likely came in on Saturday when you were doing all the feminine work part of this. Now that you're doing the masculine part and you're using some of those ideas that came up while you were using the feminine part to be really effective and productive at whatever is this target or this goal that you're working on during the weekend. Okay, so that is your week, Cancer. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. Some of you I will see during readings and during Reiki sessions. The rest of you I will see back here the next time. Everyone have a fantastic week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista. And I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before. Completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training and I've 
gotten level one and I've gotten level two and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass it on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program. And so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But Anything other than over 35 cents is no donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually I was looking with, I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone. I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. Anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate, like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send, not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there and I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video. I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate. And um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought, some prayer, some attention. 
and um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.